So we got a full battery and uh, 18 minutes to go. Not like the 25 minutes to go song. We got 18 minutes to go. So let's continue. And in case anybody's wondering, I'm not on uh, speed or coke or uh, medication prescribed or not or tons of caffeine or whatever. This is pure creative urge combined with superfoods to keep the body going. It's the passion of life is stronger than drugs. Okay? So get that. Once we too will be seen as the dawn of man and the dawn of civilization, when all that we see as history has been swept under the carpet of times long gone, we'll be the ones known to be slow to comprehend and grow, tragically, lamentably slow to learn from well-meant mistakes, slow to act to the impulse of the time that says we might just be witness to the end of our species and many others, as we scarred as the divine blue space spinner called Earth. And so thought is a slowed down translated impulse. A writing being written, read, rewritten, reread, Möbius ring through our brain and the library stored in our bones, sinews and muscles. An afterburner to our prime mind breathing, a choir to the hummingbird, a wave of words stemming from a drop of instinct, a ripple of feel, one move by the lazy lizard, remixed, rerouted, detoured, confounded and distilled to set and recognized sounds, captured in symbols. That magic of knowing which sound utterance means what, and what written character depicts it. The scales and chords weighing, meaning and tying or pulling, plucking and stretching notes and emotions, the phrasing running through our minds and if spoken out into the open, audible world, where a lot is heard, but only little understood and much less comprehended, it seems. And that's where the magic comes in, where people say completely different things yet totally agree, understand each other fully without words, yet always fight when talking. Sing songs of which the lyrics mean nothing to them, but in such heartfelt bursts of emotion, you'd swear they'd all had Gloria or Joanna or that trip down Lonely Street, and they're all sort of faking it and not. Because the object of song, as it was before, is still simply symbolic of everyone's lost love, favorite day in the life, coolest life, coolest jive or whatever. The girl that broke the poet's heart or the rapper's balls still becomes a goddess, like they used to, at the moment of dawn when the remarkable ones left their mark on the whole tribe, leading by being, not necessarily intent, commemorated in trees and running brooks, stones and arrangements thereof, hills and hollows, streets and cities, highways, bridges and statues, movies, posters and bubble heads. Are all heads bubbles or just the important ones? The famous ones? By now, bubblehead banging it sideways, solar cell powered, sitting on the dashboard, peeking over the steering wheel to catch a glimpse of that everyday theater of casual fuck, the back seat. Now, I never had a car, nor voyeuristic bubbleheads to go with it, but sex on top of the hot hood trumps back seats any time. In my book, anyway. And since it is my book, lay down on the hood, babe, let me feast on that clit, jumping like a pinball, a purple pearl, the push button to the galaxy and beyond, baby, let me squeeze your rounded buttocks as your ties clamp my head and you push me face down into your cave of old caves, the hermit's retreat, the ever juicy honey pit, let me lick you dirty and clean while you bear down on that air suspension and probably the noises in the bush ain't no raccoons, but just give me your bush, baby, your bristles, let me pull your pubes and eat your your lips, suck it till you ooze come and then ride, heart fuck till the bumpers hit the ground and we hit Orgus space on the shooting rocket that is my cock, Orgus space, the dimension of everlasting orgasm, colors, kaleidoscopes of passion, the heavenly Walhalla sought by hedonists and tantric lovers, all is touch and sensual abandon, over this feverish fun and exaltation, Orgus space, the tantric meditation realm of creation, from firstborn orgasm till evermore, 
From cave dwelling mudfuck to relentless machine riding porn bitches. From spring dalliance amongst the flowers to drunk night back alley quickies. From rawhide beds to letter fetish, tent lines to bondage, group dialing to sex clubs and lonely wankers watching porn. Or live shows. Or unintended live shows in seemingly deserted spaces. Orga space, where flagellating monks and masturbating teens can only dream of. Where let me wash it so dirty, women, will never dare to go. The legendary heaven of orgasm between a sigh and a squeeze and a load shot in the dark or a bucket. Where creation and sore muscles go hand in hand. Where drugs are obsolete like candles to the sun. Where cockburn where cock and chafed pussy keep us lying in the days for ages. As the pictures and paintings come to us, and we writing, drawing, painting, posing, photographing, and sculpting, come back down that spiral DNA staircase to bring into the world this art, bridging the hazard between the dimensions of possibilities and actualities. Then let us rise up again. Let me chase you, woman. Your holes are mine as I am your standard. Let's me, let me mix our pleasures and mount the snake, ready to get back out there to orgas space. Great balls of fire, goodness gracious, after burning mind, prime mind ablaze and smiling, in, out, in, out, breeding, cosmic, in, out, in, out, ah, orgas space. Inner spaces, outer space, orgas spacing, cosmic loving, that same awe you have when looking at the stars and feeling the earth rotating and maybe you're on the water, floating through the earth's subconscious, with the boat dancing and prancing up and down, in, out, in, out out in out of the waters as she raises her head upon the waves slightly healed under sails full set that same awe whilst being mingled inside each other in passionate love making enjoying in each and every way and with all senses embracing creating fulfilling mindless yet fully aware riding flying floating expanding engulfing enriching each other Rising snakes, dancing bees, buzzing butterflies, and time-consuming spiral snail dance. Till the fiery explosion leads us spiraling into orga space, the dreamer's domain, the land of living colors and mesmerizing dancing lines, ripples and waves of ant, neuron, astronaut travelers through the prime primitive brain, the primitive being, being fully aware, being us, you, me, them, I, you and me, me and you, they, the, they, they, all, us, all.